Hey everyone, it's Fi. We're checking out Gondola is Loose. This is a game I've not seen before. I don't know anything about it, but we're going to give it a playtest and see if we can give some useful feedback. Uh, I've got the game page open here, which is also going to be what we're going to run the game in, apparently. It's embedded in the page. There's no downloadable version. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that overlay. Um, I do prefer having a, a downloadable version. They tend to be a little more stable, I guess, but uh, it's okay. We'll just play it in the browser here. Uh, it says a game based on Gondola. He's annoyed, and you kill Spurdo monsters. Use arrows, WSD, and up button slash spacebar to jump. I guess it means the up arrow um, key. Z to attack, and hold X for charge attack. One, two, or three. Interesting. So we have a an attack button and a separate button for the charge attack, I guess. Uh, level up your anger and unlock more moves by chaining more hits. Level up to 2 at 40x. To 3 at 100x, getting hit will break the combo. So apparently this is a... Okay, so as the chain multiplier grows high enough, we get higher levels that unlock more moves. Interesting. Actually, sounds vaguely like something I worked on that died, but that's okay. Uh, first project to learn programming and game devving, hence the simple premise. There's a platform bug that is fixed by jumping. Hitboxes sometimes one-shot Gondola 2 for some reason. Birds wander around the map and get stuck. Time stops working. On reset, music and sound effects slider don't work, etc. Game is full of bugs. Sadly, I wasn't able to fix most of them in time for the jam, and I'm still learning how colliders and stuff and Unity works in general. Hopefully the game brain... Game-breaking bugs won't happen. In that case, challenge mode showcases the gameplay better. Leave honest feedback, thanks. Okay, we're going to give this a play test. Let's go ahead and click on run... Oh, got bigger. I thought it was going to be small. <laughs> You're going to have to watch a little little window, but it... I didn't even know you could do this. It just like went into full screen, almost. Except for this bar at the bottom, which is a little weird, but... Gondola is, u is loose. New game, challenge, so I got, this looks like a selector, which I think that seems like I can't move around, but I can move the mouse, so I guess, I don't know, it's a little bug or, so, or something. Let's check the options menu, I think you said these don't work, but that's okay. No score, it's a little weird with like this text kind of overlaid over the text in the background and stuff, but... Um, Especially because there's like all this empty space over here, you could just put that there, I guess. That would be a simple thing. That would, <laughs> you know, make this work out a little bit. Let's go ahead and click on New Game. The uh, little gondola didn't know, but soon he'd learn a new meaning. Do I have to interact? Apparently not. Do I. Am I playing yet? I am playing. Oh, okay. So <laughs> it might be nice if there's some kind of. I don't know, visual distinction that gameplay is happening versus a cutscene. Alright, so... Movement is very slow. I mean, it, it feels slow to me. Just compared to other games or whatever. But um, in addition to that, there's a lot of inertia, which is generally not such a good thing. I mean, obviously some games like Mario or Sonic tend to have a lot of inertia, but... Um, usually I find that... Uh, well. To put it simply, you get a lot less responsive control when you have a lot of inertia that you have to deal with for anything that's an action game. I don't actually know what kind of gameplay we're going to get, if it's just platformer or what. Uh, more anger, so I guess I just picked up... I think I'm re-picking up this... this apple. I'm not sure if this is just thematic or if this is actually doing something in the, in the code uh, in the background, picking this up over and over again, but... Um, We'll find out, but I just want to mention the, about the jumping real quick. Apart from it being kind of jerky, the motion stuff, uh, which I think is mostly the camera, it looks like. Um, when I jump, the camera kind of... It's acting like it's, it wants to show me what's above me, I guess, but uh, I think it'd be better if you had sort of like an area that you could move within before the, the camera starts scrolling, so... Uh, if you're jumping up, I kind of usually you want to see the ground that you're going to land on and that kind of thing. So um, you don't want to, generally speaking, you don't want to scroll the camera upwards 
until you like have gone vertically a certain distance and then you can kind of start scrolling but this seems to scroll too early i would say let's go ahead and try to progress more anger <laughs> okay so for some reason apples are leading to much anger and this bug seems to be consistently here and then it looks like we have this very weird sword the uh it's not the sword itself but the shadow which looks bonkers to me but that's okay oh gosh i already forgot what the buttons were we would learn oh he would he would learn i'm not even reading it properly the meaning of war <clears throat> that's pretty sick all right build up anger move Jump, attack, z, 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 z. All right, so we have WSD for, okay, so I don't think there's a, oh, there's a pause in the P key. Okay, I prefer escape. It's easier to reach in my opinion and most modern games use escape, but that's okay. Um, I didn't really have a lot of time to read the, the controls that were showing on screen. I would definitely make it so that you had to press a button to to continue past that screen so that you could take as much time as you needed. Uh, but I was going to comment, we apparently attack is only bound to Z, I think. I think it said it like X was also involved. Um, so I don't think it makes much much sense to try to use the WASD keys. Um, if you do want to use WASD as, you know, leave it in as an option, you might want to bind the attack keys to other keys or something. <laughs> like on the, on the right side of the keyboard or something, some other keys. But, um, I guess we're just, uh, okay. Oh, we got some very, uh, there was like an audio glitch in the right channel there for a moment. That was kind of unpleasant. So it appears to be like built into the sound effect. It's a little glitchy sound. It's not so nice. <laughs> okay, do I like... I don't know if this actually works. Like if I if I hold X and then press Z, you can see I kind of like I kind of shift forward a little bit. I don't know if that's doing something. It doesn't look like an attack, so I don't know. Maybe that's busted. Um, the animations are really goofy overall. You can tell some effort's been put into them, but they're just very bizarre. Uh, looks like I'm hovering over the the ground by two pixels or so, one or two pixels. Oh, I can double tap to to run. Okay, so after I run and then attack, if I keep holding the direction, I just kind of run in place. So that's kind of silly. I guess we're just jumping... Oh my gosh, okay. Unleash it! Special attack! Oh, okay, so I have to like... Wait. Ah. There we go. Okay, so I used it up. That's okay. Um, but yeah, so like when when I'm up here, I just see this kind of abyss to my right. So it's not generally what you want to, to not be able to see where you're gonna land. So you wanna work with the camera a bit, you know, maybe you could put some... Sometimes you might wanna work with the... Uh, just put like a collider that, that changes the camera behavior or something. So like if I... I enter this area, maybe the camera will pan down a little bit, that sort of thing can help. Um, so I do apparently have a double jump. Oh, wait. Is it only on, on the walls? Okay, so if I'm close if I'm close to a wall, I don't have to be touching it. I can be just close to it apparently, like this close. Right here. Okay, well, I guess that kind of works. Um, just thought it was a, a normal double jump. At first, but oh, they're jumping up after me! Oh my gosh! Might be nice to have a little more horizontal movement on the attack. Have it carry you forward a little more, make that feel a little comfier, in my opinion. Get angrier, level up to unlock more moves. Okay, uh, we have some some combos. It looks like okay. If I try the oh wow. I think they're like all on top of each other. <laughs> it's really silly. You can imagine getting hit by like all of them at once, that would be silly. 
so mad. Um, so yeah, we've got some... The problem is I don't know what the, the commands for the combos are because they've they've showed on screen briefly a couple of times, but like not enough for me to just like memorize them from looking at them briefly, you know? Like if I had a page that I could reference, that would give me a better idea of maybe what I could do. Sorry to anyone who doesn't want to listen to that sound in the right channel there, I can't do anything about that. Um, so there's that grass that's floating up there, it's pretty weird. Uh, but I was going to mention, I, I, I'm assuming that the up and down arrow keys are involved in combos somehow. Oh my gosh, why do you fly forward? One of these combos makes you like fly forward. But I was going to mention, <laughs> because the up key is jump and the down key lets you fall through platforms, it kind of is a bit wonky if you start involving that in combos. Um, please die. Yay, they all died. That's pretty cool. I don't know if that was slow down or if that was intentionally slowing the game down. Um, but yeah, like you don't want to necessarily be doing a combo and then just drop through the ground or something. But I don't even know for sure if the if those <laughs> arrow keys are meant to be used with the the combos. I think there's at some point I did like an air thing. like a, a launching attack of some sort. Looks like we can... oh. More mana? Oh gosh! I was trying to jump over it. Why couldn't I jump over? Was it from the birds? Something was colliding there and I couldn't jump over the, the enemy. Oh, maybe it's... Oh, that's probably what happened. I probably ran and then attacked and then tried to... I kept holding the direction and tried to jump over and it... Just did that. This is that weird kind of bug there. Oops. Hmm, that was a little weird. It, it seemed like it took a little while for the for the attack to come out after I pressed the button there. This doesn't seem to be happening now, so I'm not sure what what exactly that was about. A little hard to see the bird's feet. I noticed in the compared to the background here, they're kind of the same color. So don't really telegraph quite as much as I hope. I think and it's not not that visually clear. They do have a nice sound effect, though. I guess, but I mean they're they're kind of slow, so that helps. But I think I prefer even if they're a little bit faster, if they just had a better telegraph. So they're just kind of doing the attack. It's weird how you just kind of float forward for a while in the air sometimes with these combos. Um, what might be nice is these brown guys. Um, I don't even know what these guys are. Monkeys or something with helmets. But uh, when they die, it's not really quite obvious until they, they kind of pause and they go into this an this animation and then they kind of slump over. Um, oh my gosh, I'm still flying. I think it would make more sense if they kind of more immediately went into a, an obvious, you know, visually obvious state of death or whatever so that you could tell right away. Oh, that guy just almost whacked me. He started his attack in the wrong direction. Apparently they can change directions before they actually throw it. 
really sure where the hip the collider for my attack actually is. Like the attack is only sort of like right here. It seems to hit a good bit wider. It might be nice, for instance, if you're like jumping and trying to attack something, if you could have a some kind of an arc or something that kind of reaches over your head a little, that kind of thing. Um, even if just the normal attack was that, just if there's something kind of above you, it'd be easier to hit that way. Wow, that guy jumped way up there. Ah! That'll go the other way. <laughs> I don't know why he's so glidey in the air. I haven't really used the super attack thing. <laughs> so, I think you're supposed to like, I think there's something that affects your, I was going to say something about the health, I guess we just got health back, uh, the, the multiplier thing, why can't I drop through this? Dropping through this doesn't work for some reason. I haven't really paid attention to the multiplier in the bottom right very much, so I don't know if it drops down every time you get hit. It, is, it doesn't seem to return to zero from what I can tell. Oh. There's what appears to be a, a large bear. Apparently it just hit me. Oh, it does go down to zero, I guess. Ah! No. I'm just trying to... I honestly don't even know. Oh, he can hit me up here. Okay. It's a little... unexpected. He's not like... Like, you'd kind of expect it would be more obvious, because he's not above the... The, uh, the little edge I'm standing on here by very much. I thought I stu stood on his back before, but maybe... Yeah, I think he, he must have been in, a, in an attack animation there. Okay, so what am I supposed to do if, um... If he charges me and I, I can't... It doesn't look like I can just jump over him, so... Oh! Okay, so his collider seems to be a bit, a bit, uh, bigger than his actual sprite, so you can... It didn't look like I actually touched him at all and I still got hit, which is... I think I would definitely, uh, suggest... Fixing, uh, definitely like to see colliders that are a little bit smaller than the sprite rather than larger. You don't want these bits that are sticking out where there's just no visual to suggest that it, touching that area would hurt you for any reason, so... Oh, I didn't... <laughs> okay. Okay, so we went back, like, a lot, I think, because um, I clicked restart. It's because there's no... there's no resume button here. <laughs> it does say press P to resume, of course, but... which... oh, actually didn't work that one time that I pressed it, but... Um, yeah, it might be nice to have one of these options be, like, resume or whatever, and... Um, Another thing that can be nice is if you're gonna have like buttons like this, like main menu restart. Um, if you do select them, to have like a confirmation box pop up to say like, "Are you sure?" or you know, "You sure you want to restart or whatever," and have the yes or no that kind of thing. Just the quality of life sort of deal. Let's see if I can get through this a little faster. Maybe do I have to kill everyone, or can I just like speed run it? Oh no, I have to kill everyone. I 
I have no idea about the combos. What actually does what. Okay. Okay. I don't know if you need that every time, you know, like, after every death. It seems more like a, like a tutorial element, so... Wow. Ah. <laughs> I like the way that looks. How far back did I go? Like, at the very start of the whole level? Pretty sure you can more or less unlock any dudes if they're not- oh. I think I thought I could jump shorter than, the, than that if I just pressed it lightly, but... I mean, you do have variable jump height, but it went higher than I expected or something. It's one thing that can be nice with the bird enemies if they do have like Okay, so it looks like they do have a telegraph. It's just not its not very obvious visually. Um, but when they do their telegraph, they kind of... Once they do the actual attack, they kind of ignore... Uh, well, how do I say it? They just go directly towards you. Um, and in my opinion, I think it would be nice if they kind of had a memory... Oh, shoot. I'm trying to... <laughs> I'm trying to hit him. Okay. It might be nice if they kind of had a memory, like... At some point during the telegraph, they they kind of took your position, and then uh, when the attack came out, they went towards that position rather than where where you are exactly at the moment, so that if you see them winding up their attack, you could uh, move out of the way. These guys keep hitting me; they're not really they don't look close enough to hit me, so that doesn't feel very good. Blech. Okay, I can't drop through here again. Ouch. Oh no, I'm stuck. So this room clear, this guy's still alive. Not sure if that's intended or whatever. somewhere. Might be nice to have some like stereo effects, uh, you know, positional panning so that uh, you can get an idea of where the sound effects are coming from, where the enemies are in the level compared to where your screen is. Just hear this like omnipresent bird flapping but it doesn't appear to be coming from anywhere. Spamming Z. Uh oh, I can't get out of this. <laughs> Getting stuck in this glide motion. What the heck? <laughs> That's so weird. That bear. Jump. So yeah, I was saying before, I don't know if I can uh, finish what I was saying, but the bear... Oh, that guy jumps. The bear, I guess, can hit you when you're when you're standing on this ledge, even though it's 
not really above it by very much. I think you should make it a little more obvious that he's gonna hit you, you know, you can make the bear a little taller or something, or make the ledge lower, <laughs> that kind of thing. Ah! Oh my gosh, they suddenly changed directions on me. Best at using keyboard controls for this kind of game. It's more of a, a gamepad thing for me if I had choice. Another thing I notice is if you do like a really short jump. Oh, I think he's he's like off the screen, so they can't attack me. <laughs> um, a lot of times I notice I try to jump and it, like it's just too short to get up here, and then that puts me in a bad spot because I have to wait until I hit the ground again before I can jump. So if I'm trying to avoid this bear or whatever, it's problematic. Um, I think it would make sense if you, for this kind of platform, if you kind of scaled the jump height or the platform height one or the other so that um, you're more likely to land on it with, with a shorter jump rather than always having to like make sure you hold down the button. It just kind of feels like you should be able to just kind of hop up there without much effort. Why is he still attacking? I wasn't pressing Z, I was holding right for a moment and he was just spamming with the sword. That was weird. Is this some kind of one of the combo moves or something? I don't know. Alright, we completed it. <laughs> I can get stuck in this animation frame for some reason. Level completed, are there more levels? I guess they're all supposed to be Spurdos. They, they're really weird. They look like monkeys to me. So, oh my gosh. That looks like a- ah, oh, stop. That looks like a bottomless pit to me. Which is... With the controls being kind of wonky, I'm scared of just like, <laughs> like uh, gliding into one of those after trying to attack one of these birds in the air or something. Like this... Apparently there's a pit to the right, so it's kind of sketchy trying to fight this bird. Like, I don't want to try to jump over here and end up falling down in there. Um, I'm just going to assume... Oh, gosh. Oh, shoot. Oh, wow. I wall jumped. Okay. <laughs> I, wasn't, I, I forgot you could do that. But, uh, yeah, so unfortunately, like, if I press down here, I can just fall through and... And presumably I'll die back that down there. It's <laughs> very silly. I still don't know if like up and down is is useful for combat. It seems like you can like get enemies up in the air sometimes. Seems like we can clear that room before, whoa, before the last enemy is killed. Ah, ah, don't fall. Okay. Go the other way. <laughs> I do like the, the little anchor mark thing that apparently changes colors as you get your 
meter filled up. It's pretty cool. I like having the extra visual there so I don't have to necessarily look up at the meter. Oh gosh. Okay, I guess we're over here. <laughs> I'm just super spamming. And mashing direction keys. Ah. It's kind of working so far up until that point, I guess. Wow, I'm sliding around. Go down. Oh no. Room clear, okay. I'll take it. Might be nice to not put enemies like right here where <laughs> you kind of spawned into the room. That was weird. My attack came out kind of late. It felt like when that bird hit me. <clears throat> but yeah, in this case, it's like I'm just kind of spamming the button. I can kind of react to suddenly there being enemies here, but just kind of in general, you don't really want to start, like, the first time you show the screen for there to be enemies that are, like, already going into their attack animations before the player's even been able to see the screen. It'd really be nice. I'm, I'm assuming that this, this kind of glide effect that I've been getting stuck into is somehow intentional. <laughs> it would be nice if I could kind of get back down out of the air if I needed to once I start floating around up there. Well, I press down. <laughs> oh my gosh. How, how far back does restart take me? Oh my gosh, the start of the level for dying once? That's not friendly. Oh my gosh, this is so time consuming. So yeah, you might want to make some platforms like this that you can float above bottomless pits that you can't fall through by just pressing down. So that people don't just kill themselves like that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know. Okay. Frick. <laughs> okay. That was kind of unfortunate with the, the air control. Let me, let me see if I can play with that for a moment here real quick. Okay, I don't think I can skip the cutscene. It's actually a little weird that it shows the boss uh, being dead every time I die here. Okay. Alright, so yeah, so if you're running in a direction and you jump, then you, you jump at your run speed, but if you try to change direction in the air, you go back to your walk speed, which is like super slow. Um, which wasn't a problem before you started adding the, <laughs> the bottomless pits, because now I need the air control to not die in the pit. And I don't really have it if I have to change direction like that. Like, they're just, if I did it without jumping or something, my horizontal movement is really abysmal. So, um, I mean, I would make the walk, walk speed faster anyways, but uh, nothing else, you know, maybe just if, you, if you're running and you jump, just make both directions maintain your running speed. That would make sense to me. Even if you change direction in the air, you'd still get the running speed in the opposite direction. I'm not sure what even hit me just now. Ah! What is that sound? It sounds like a... Is the birds? I 
I don't know, it sounds like what, what happens when, when a cell phone call gets picked up by... Like an unshielded pair of speakers. Oh my gosh. Apparently you have to wait until a little after the room cleared thing shows up before you can actually transition to the next room. Oh. Fortunately I couldn't hit that bird in time. Sometimes you can kind of incorporate the run like that, like if you double tap at the right time and it does a dash forward and then you get some horizontal movement. I guess it's semi-consistent, it's a little awkward feeling trying to make that happen. I don't even know if there's anywhere to walk down there below there, I guess there wasn't. Again, I'm not sure about the room clear thing. There's still a lot of enemies on the screen here. I can't drop through. So it definitely seems like a good idea to kind of spam the, not really spam, but uh, hit the double tap on the left and right while you're trying to do combat stuff. It just seems to kind of move you around better. Oh, it feels a little wonky, but kind of seems to work. Ouch. Oh my gosh, I'm super dead. Health seems extraordinarily rare. This also doesn't go very far, unfortunately. I kind of wish that would shoot out further. Got nothing in the meters. Oh my gosh, this is trippy. Oh no! Yeah, those birds, their attacks are pretty nasty. You don't really see the telegraph. Ugh. All right, well, I'm assuming this is going to bring me like all the way back to after the bear died. I keep calling it the bear. I guess it's supposed to be the, it's like a fat spurdo or something. And these are skinny spurdos. Um, <laughs> anyways, uh, yeah, so I'll probably wrap this up, but really interesting game. I think it starts to kind of feel, feel better to me after I start uh, getting the sense of kind of moving left and right with the with the run, the double tap in in combat, and obviously like jumping up and down as necessary. Um, I'm still not sure like how the combos work or whatever. I don't know any of that, but <laughs> it's it's a bit fun to just you know. I think I think this is I don't know why it's scrolling to the right right now, but I think this is a pretty reasonable 
uh, concept for the level design where you have these multiple platforms that you can just move up and down vertically to attack enemies on different things. Uh, that kind of gives you options to kind of, um, you know, avoid attacks as they come and, and uh, move around to the different enemies and stuff. I think that works well, so it's really simple, but somewhat effective. Uh, but hopefully the video is useful for you. Um, I know there's a lot of bugs and stuff. I'm not sure how much was pure bug and how much was intentional, <laughs> you know, I can only assume. But uh, let me know if you have any questions, and I will see you in the next one.